Yeah. Well, it's not as exciting because I'm doing it myself. The nose. Oh, nah. I think it's because that thing's furry too. It's all like. <laughs> you think I would have learnt by now, but I'm standing outside with shorts on and my feet have gone numb. See, so yeah, I spend too much time in Australia. This is what happens. I forget the environments that I'm going into here in Switzerland. Shorts and um, no shoes. First day on snow tomorrow after about six months. It, um, I'm pinching myself. It feels a little bit strange. Rules, I'm sure, are going to be pretty similar to what we've been uh, doing as of late, which is we're going up. We've got bubble gondolas to go into the gondolas every morning. Uh, so myself, uh, Team Australia, it's a pretty small team, but we have a we have a little bubble going up the gondola every morning, and uh, I think I'm just going to keep my gloves on, like every time whenever I'm in a public space, I just keep my mittens on, and then I have my face mask on, and yeah, I'll just make sure that we're staying safe. And a lot of the other teams, like America and Canada and um, Japan, everyone's in a bubble, so I uh, can't really see anyone except for when we're outdoors and up on the mountain in the glacier. So uh, plenty of social distancing. Still not like I don't know. having full conviction on the f you know, the term that's being thrown around a lot is knock the rust off, you know, like kind of just get back into it, get real familiar with, you know, how it's supposed to feel and making those things come back to, you know, where you want to at least find the baseline and then go from there. Damn. Hey, good work, big guy. Good work, big guy. I just gotta, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. That's fine, man. It's just, I just gotta find my way. You always come around. That one you let come around, the other ones you kind of like opened up early and like kind of whatever, but that one was just like perfect rotation. What that tells me is when you do that grab, you can slow the rotation down a little bit. Oh my bit. God, yeah, I actually can control it like insane amounts. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, this is always a very important um, part of the year, like getting back and a lot of us have gone, you know, had a bit of time off snow now between kind of that end of the American winter to the beginning of the European one. So this is always a pretty crucial time to learn a lot of the tricks. And so that's like the kind of key part of this October stage, wouldn't you say? How you doing? Good. He's got something boiling in his head. I know that for sure. Hey, get your head in the game, goddammit. Freaking arm hurts. I need to do it with this hand, hang on. That works. I'm not getting used to this whole phone uh, situation with my arms. It's like really heavy. Even when I'm excited, like I am right now, after being on the snowboard all day, I still can't have my arms up with the camera. Yeah, so first day, um, plan was to go up, find my feet again, just uh, kind of take it easy, uh, enjoy being back up there in the mix. And, you know, if I feel good, maybe get into a few tricks, but um, there's no real rush. We're here for a full month. And, um, you know, when I left, I guess in March, I, I've left off on a pretty good foot with all my tricks and stuff. So we progressively just have to work our way back to where I was. Yeah, I think I think probably what I'm gonna struggle with most is like having to take it like slowly because I'm gonna get excited and I know I will. So like I know that I've gotta just every day take it step by step and um, 
you know, progress at a probably a slower rate than I usually would. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've got to be able to control that getting too excited and then and and doing things that I shouldn't be doing. So, but uh, all in all, first day was awesome, and uh, yeah, just really excited to be here and get some work done. So yeah, we probably just have to set it up ourselves, and it's the Swiss airbag, so I don't know. Might be learning tricks the scary way again, boys. Scary. Straight to snow. Better put on your big boy pants. Classic. Coronavirus update. Leisure and tourism businesses are open again throughout Switzerland and events are also allowed to take place. However, blah, 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 blah. Nice, fresh, organic, Strawberry, peanut, honey, mung bean sandwich <laughs> from James. Is that other half? Is that for you, Maddie? Right there. Definitely not. That's, that's not yours? You don't deserve the money. How about that? I'm not at that worthy level yet. Wow. A few more years. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey off your back? Stuck my edge in that one. <laughs> hey, it's fine for your first one. <laughs> Feeling a little bit wonky today. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so I gave it, I had some thoughts about yeah. what you said. It's where I still stand with like stay low, try and stay low, mm -hmm. load up the board and like with the energy so you feel it wanting to resist, like kind of yeah. snap back, and then focus more on like really, really super minute, like quick twitch movements rather than like big, big, big kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. I got nothing else to say. Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> See, I thought I was coming in good. You did it way better than it should have been, that's for sure. <laughs> you haven't taken a hit like that in a while. <laughs> Dude, I was due for one. <laughs> Got excited. I did exactly what I was trying to be conscious of. You can see it here though, it's just all, and that's right. Well, all. there's the abrasion right there, right? Yeah, bang. So right on the f that pointer part of the hip. Yeah, so I feel like it squashed my muscles or something. Front side out was nice. It was, it was really good. That's why you, because that's the first front side air you'd had like good on that wall. And then you're like, okay, I'm feeling good. This looks good. What do we got here? Slip. See that? Yeah, I saw it. It just just released early and it just slipped on that icy ass wall. Yeah. And um, when the pain goes higher than seven, for me, for me, seven will, uh, means um, it hurts, but it it stuck not not your 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 breathing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And every day it will be a little bit less hard, and you can go a little bit more down. And we work, we walk, we work, work. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, I was laying in bed, hit myself. <laughs> it's probably a really bad. This is probably a shit angle. Oh well. Ain't shit. 
It didn't feel very good. Um, I did exactly kind of what I was trying not to do, which was get too excited. And I um, felt really good riding, had great music on. And I came in and I I was feeling great and then I came up and I hadn't really done any front side spins yet but I just thought it would be a really good idea to do a front 10. Um, turns out it was a terrible idea because now I'm laying in bed with a massively bruised hip. I landed on the deck and uh, I took off early and my edge slipped. Um, basically I just timed it really wrong and in the half pipe timing is everything. The margin for error is like you pretty much just can't so I paid the price uh, I'm okay yeah it's pretty gross I mean it's not gross you should see it but it hurts I know I'm okay though because if I wasn't then I wouldn't know of course I wouldn't know that was stupid to say um, 